With the calf stretch, what we're going to do is we're going to prop our foot up on something. I'm using a dumbbell. You can use a parallel bar, a stair stepper, um, the edge of a stair stepper, the edge of a step. Really doesn't matter. I'm going to put, for me, I like the ball of my foot on it. Uh, it's, there's some plus or minus wiggle room here, so it's wherever you kind of feel to be most comfortable. So ball of foot on the edge of whatever you want to do. Um, then in terms of the back leg, you'll kind of find the sweet spot for where you like it. There's no right or wrong on this. And then in this position, with a locked knee, I'm going to hinge forward as far as I can until my hand's resting on something. The further down I go, the more difficult it becomes. So I'm going to hinge forward. I'm trying to keep a good spinal position. If by all means you're rounding at first, totally fine, but you want to progress or work towards this hinging. Also keep in mind, if I rock forward, so this thigh is more straight as opposed to behind me, it's going to increase the difficulty of the stretch. So this is what the stretch is going to look like when I'm in this active stretch position. Some cues that you want to focus on. You want to think about pulling your toes towards your shins, which is going to activate your tibialis anterior. And at the same time, you want to think about pulling your stomach to your thigh or your thigh to your stomach. That would be like that compression strength and a lot of our press to handstand work or L-set positions. So I'm actively thinking about pulling my toes towards my shins. While as I hinge forward, I'm pinching my stomach to my thigh and I'm working on those two cues as I'm holding the calf stretch. With this, you want to start off um, with not that much tension. You, it shouldn't be too intense as you begin the stretch because it's something that it progressively becomes more intense as you're in this position. So start off lighter than what you think you need.